Alvin and Josh Ballone guys weren't here anymore. How much big playability do you see in this offense over the season with those guys with them? Well, I mean, we have a lot of talent in the receiver room, running back room, um, quarterback room. It's a lot of talent on the offensive side. So the big play is just going to come. They're going to be there. So we just have to work, study, play a bit more, get stronger in the weight room with Rock so we can make them happen. How important was that month? that the guys, the signees got in May and June compared to Jacquez and Jordan not showing up until July. Does that put them back? Um, a little behind. All they really miss is uh, all the ones that came in. They just got ahead on the playbook, so that's pretty much it. But the guys that just came in, they they always calling us. Like they're one of the two that we're always trying to get better. So we come in 10, 15, 20 minutes early. They're already in there working with coach, trying to learn the playbook, so they can come out and compete for a spot. Likewise, well, that John Kelly is the voice you hear the most on the practice field, loudest for us. Describe him as a leader and a teammate. John Kelly is one of the most shortest, funnest, <laughs> most spirited guys I've known since I've got here. He's always excited, always happy, and he always wants us to do our best. Not even on the field, in the weight room too. Asks us when we, um, he asks us if we get recovery, nutrition, everything. So he's just one of the guys that you see when you just got a smile. Is the shortest what you remind him about the most? Oh yeah, everybody. He's just short and stocky, that's it. Short and strong. Anyone else kind of serving as a leader in this offense so far? Well, both of the quarterbacks, you know, that's what they're supposed to do. They lead, and they, they've gotten with us a lot so we can um, get better as a quarterback and receivers. And running back, they got John Kelly receivers. We got Juwan and Josh Miller. So all of, really all of us really help each other. We help the running backs. They help us with the splits and stuff. We help quarterbacks. They help us. So it's all tying the one. How have the quarterbacks looked so far? Have you seen some um, progression since the spring from both of those guys? Mm -hmm. they're, they're both smarter. They're both stronger. And not just both of them, the um, younger guys too coming in. They, they've gotten a lot better too. So it's going to be, it's going to be, they're learning too. So they're learning from JG and Quentin. So it's going to be good for them. How's the ball coming out of Quentin's hands? One more question. Uh, because compared to Dobbs, is it more life, less wobbly, more velocity with Dobbs, or oh. Quentin, what do you think? Well, they both kind of throw it a little different, but all we think about is balls in the air. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try our best to come in. So that's all that's going to go around the ball. So. How much better is the chemistry with those guys after this summer with the 7-on-7 seven seven and everything? Is there a more of a rhythm with all you guys working for full back? It is because both of us, no matter if we're going with one or two or whoever we're going with, if we mess up, we got new things. We mess up, you know, we go after practice and we, we get the same route or same play. Whatever we brought the ball or whatever felt bad, we go back over it. So it's gotten a lot better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.